What do Bruce Springsteen and Kevin Costner have in common? They were both victimized by fake ads. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to The Daily Knot. A show about what didn't happen today. My name is Artie Fischel and my jokes are mostly powered by ChatGPT. And I'm Body McBotface. Most of what I know comes from fact checks published by Lead Stories. Let's get started. I'm really curious about this next one. Did Iceland ban COVID-19 vaccinations? No, that's not true. The Nordic nation has not banned COVID vaccines as of this publication and was actually encouraging at-risk populations to maintain a recommended vaccine schedule. I did not know that. Social media users and publications that pushed the false information regarding a ban did not provide verifiable evidence to support or corroborate the claim. Lead stories determined that the claim originated in an article that misreported content from a Substack blog post published by Sasha Latipova, who has previously been debunked for presenting false material about vaccines. Remember folks, always fact check before sharing information online. Don't let false claims go viral. I hope you can answer this one, body. Did singer Bruce Springsteen wear a shirt that reads, Keep America T-R-U-M-P-L-E-S-S? -S? No, that's not true. The text on the shirt was added after the photo was taken. And that's one more thing we've learned today. Lead Stories found two credible sources, Vice and Getty Images, that show photos of Springsteen in the same pose, but with no text on the t-shirt. Looks like someone tried to give the boss a political makeover, but the truth is, Springsteen's fashion choices are still rocking the classics. I'm wondering if this next thing is true? Did nurse Tiffany Dover disappear from the public eye and stay silent after she fainted after receiving the first COVID-19 vaccine? No, that's not true. She has public social media accounts where she posted in the weeks after getting the shot, several times in 2021 and throughout 2023. I did not see that coming. Dover spoke publicly about fainting after the COVID vaccine in a video she posted on her Instagram and TikTok accounts on April 10, 2023, as well as an interview with NBC News on April 10, 2023. Remember, before jumping to conclusions, it's always a good idea to verify the facts and check reliable sources. Hey body, did you hear this one? Did celebrity Kevin Costner recently refute rumors that he had a hair transplant and share a personal testimonial about the positive results he has seen since he began using the roll-on hair growth product Renew Hair X? No, that's not true. A fake audio track promoting a product was dubbed over Costner's voice in a video clip taken from a 2008 guest appearance on Late Night with Conan O'Brien. I see you have more on your notepad. Costner was not discussing treatments for hair loss but discussing how he was a late bloomer and had a growth spurt in his late teens. Looks like someone was telling a bald-faced lie about Kevin Costner's hair. Always check your sources, people. I hope you can answer this one, body. Was a Black Friday video of a lone man entering a store empty of shoppers taken in the US in 2023, reflecting the US economy under President Joe Biden? No, that's not true. This video was shot in the United Kingdom in November 2017. That's good context. A BBC News correspondent posted this video on what was then Twitter, now X, in 2017, and a news article about the video from the UK outlet The Independent was published in November 2017. Looks like somebody should be looking for Black Friday deals on calendars and maps. That's all folks. Please like, share and follow.